Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Gerard Akeem. I am back with another video. And as you can see from the title, today I will be going over the printing software that I use which is Adobe. Um, I've been seeing a lot of questions and a lot of comments about what do I use when printing my documents, what applications, um, just so that we're making sure that when we are printing these documents, that the printing software is separating the pages by their sizes. Um, I did make a mistake when I first started. I remember it was one of my signings where um, I just thought the printer would automatically recognize it from when I just said print and came to find out that it printed everything on letter size pages, which was not the case because I had pages in there that needed to be printed on legal size pages. So I just wanna make a quick video just to show you guys the software that I use. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are already familiar with the Adobe uh, platform and what it can do. Um, but if you're not, it's just a quick um, go-to on what to do, how I do it, how I actually set up my printing preferences when I'm printing the documents just to make sure that everything fits on the page and you know it's printing by the page sizes that it is supposed to print by. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to share my screen with y'all we'll take a look and I'll just show you around and also um, I did edit one of my uh, edited document I blared out all the information I changed everything just to show you all how um, everything works so I'm going to go ahead and turn around to my PC. All right. So here we have the main Adobe Acrobat Reader. Um, basically, this is what I use um, that I have downloaded on my PC when I'm when I'm using to print my documents. Um, like I said, this is the address bar, the address, the website above. What I do is, if you currently don't have this downloaded, I'll definitely put this in the description below, so you'll have that. So yeah, once you download this, um, it it'll download to your computer. And then, but basically, when you starting to when you start printing, it'll pop this option up, um, especially because a lot of times, the loan signing third party companies they send you these already in a PDF form, so it's much easier easier for you to print out. Um, so let's go ahead and pull up one of my documents, um, not that one, but this one. Okay, so like I said, this is the John Doe document. It's actually a real document, but I just changed a couple. Um, couple of the information and like I said when I'm in here let's go down so this is like the FedEx form that I get and then let's, for this one this is like the uh, buyer's closing statement um, so as you can see here um, just a quick give you all another quick view if you've never seen um, a buyer's closing statement before but the loan amount was 400000 closing date disbursement date date repair uh, this was a refinance property type. I changed all the information. Delta Community Credit Union, um, and then it just gives you the numbers. Uh, like I said, I went through these just to make sure there was no personal information in these. Um, like I said, I just did this for showing purposes. But yeah, this is a real live document that I did. Um, and yeah, so what I did is I just learned that out. Um, but yes, yeah, so it was a real live document. So what I'm gonna just go back to the top, and then I'm gonna do print. So when I'm in print, um, I kind of don't have my printer set up, but when I'm in, when I'm in here in print, um, I always do fit. Because I've noticed sometimes when you do actual size, it runs, sometimes it tends to, it does this. See how you see those purple lines and it doesn't capture all of it? So I always do fit. So when I do fit, it makes, you, it makes sure that everything fits on this one page. So I'm gonna do it again. You see actual, actual size and you see how it's grayed out. This is, this is the only thing that it's gonna print out. But when you do fit, it'll make sure you get all of that um, on that document. And then what you do here is choose paper source by PDF size. Um, so I always make sure I have that checked. So once you check that, see how it changed the size? Cause it knows that this is supposed to be printed on legal size paper. And even when I did that, you see how it's still that purple line? I found for some reason my printer sometimes still cuts that off. So just to be safe and sorry, I always use fit. But like I said, I don't know your printer or what it may do. I, I will play around with that print like a couple pages just to make sure that it doesn't cut it off and then go from there. Um, so like I said, choose paper source by PDF size. Um, like I said, once you select like that, then that's when it'll change the size. So you see how this, which I 
sizes of the pages are changing. So you have that. One thing I also would point out is print on both sides of paper. For some reason in the beginning, my printer kept automatically, automatically selecting this and it was tearing my nerves up. Um, make sure this is not checked because I don't, far as many times I've been, I've never had them or told me this is okay. It's not okay. Never print on both sides unless they have that, which is rare. I've never seen that to this day where they want you to print on both sides. So that's always a definite no. But like I said, just fit, choose paper source, and that's it. And definitely um, print. So, because I don't have my printer um, plugged up right now to do actual printing. But yeah. So I just wanted to hop on here right quick because I was getting a lot of messages about that just to show you all, you know, the different print sizes um, that you have. All right, so that was it. I just wanted to come back, drop that quick little video because I'm still going through the comments. Um, thank you guys for the support. If you did watch my last video, um, like I said, you did see when I had that signing that I gave back because I wasn't comfortable based off what the borrower was asking me um, during the, you know, the beginning when I was trying to confirm the appointment. But like I said, I've been reading your comments. I have to go back and read some more. And I do see that some of you all have been having similar issues and similar things, which is just still to this day blows my mind. Like, you know, my thing is I'm just here to help you close in your home or help you refinance or, you know, help you do what you need to do. I'm just here for you because nine times out of 10, when it's a refinance, you're trying to save money with a better interest rate. That's all I'm here to do is just close on this so you can get that better interest rate. But anywho, <laughs> that was that. Um, if you haven't seen that video, definitely check that out. Um, like I said, but if you all, for some reason, if you're using a different um, software than Adobe, please let me know what you're using below because I'm still in limbo if like I said, I do want to get another computer, but I don't know if I want to get a Mac or if I just want to stick to Lenovo. I love Lenovo PCs. Um, but yeah, but that'll be it. But um, like I said, still keep the questions, comments, still keep the comments coming. Um, I am responding back to the emails. And like I said, I am still working on future videos. I am going to do another um, mock video for you all, like my whole spiel when I'm doing uh, my signing, you know, my important documents I always go over first. But until next time, thank you all for the support. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, support the channel. We are still growing. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. So once again, I definitely do want to thank you all for your support. And until next time, you all have a great night. See you. Thank you.